APU's running. T minus 30 seconds. GS1 at flight level. GS2 at flight level. Big water start. <laughs> That's a big water command. There's the water deluge. Here we go, me Glenn. It's time to do this. Let's light this candle. Autopilot enabled. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Lift off. <laughs> All seven engines at full thrust. Chicken for pressures are good. Vehicles cleared the tower. Now passing 18 seconds into flight. Engine chamber pressures look good. 27 seconds in. Vehicles. Now begin the pitch roll maneuver to point down range. Body rate responses are nominal. Chamber pressures continue to look good. Now 40 seconds into flight. Oh my god! <laughs> End of roll straight to now level. Chamber pressures continue to look good. That's the most thing I've ever seen. 50 seconds in. Data quality looks good coming down from the vehicle. Chamber pressures continue to look nominal. One minute into flight. All seven engines continue to look good on the first stage. Data quality is good coming down from the vehicle. Body rate response are nominal. One minute, 15 seconds into flight. As we build a road to space for the benefit of Earth. Profile looks good. Continue to perform well. Now passing one minute, 30 seconds into flight. Passing Mach 1. New Glenn is now supersonic. Engines continue to perform well, now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Body rate responses are nominal throughout the boost phase. Data quality continues to look good, chamber pressure is looking good. All pass seconds. through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The toughest part of the flight on that vehicle, we have now passing two minutes through into it, flight. and New Blend continues its Chamber pressure its continues to look good to on all 7B4 engines. Acceleration profile is good, body rates look good. One minute to Miko. B3U, LH2 chill and started. The fours continue to perform well throughout the boost phase. Now passing two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Trajectory is nominal. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Approximately 30 seconds remaining in boost phase. And here we are, coming up on Nico. On Main engine cut off. Let's stand by for that. You look good. Stage two, RCS priming. Now passing three minutes. And we have Miko. We have stage set. And we have ignition on both BE3Us. Chamber pressure is good. Now passing three minutes, 40 seconds into flight. Body rates look good. Data quality coming down from both stages. Looks good. GS2 performing a pitch up maneuver. Body rate response is nominal. B3 chamber pressure continues to look good. We have good payload fairing jettison. Separation confirmed of the well. two Body stages. Tank pressures are within their limits. Stage two is now continuing its launch and flight. If up into Mio, now passing four minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Our booster is going to try to make 
a landing. Less than three minutes you now see remaining. The to landing target the out there in the ocean. We are going to Four land on the Jacqueline, the landing ship that is awaiting this beautiful booster to make a landing. GS2 bottles look good. Trajectory looks good on both stages. Four minutes, 50 seconds into flight. Passing five minutes, ten seconds in the flight. Thrust on both BE3Us continues to look good. Five minutes, twenty seconds in. Less than two minutes now remaining to GS1 engine ignition. Thank you again, everybody, for GS1 joining us for New out. Glenn's first launch to space so far. Five minutes and thirty seconds into launch. Everything continues to be nominal. A clean separation of stage one from stage two. Stage one, our booster. We are looking to land it on our landing ship, Jacqueline. There you see its targeted landing spot where the feather is there. And stage two, carrying the Pathfinder for Blue Ring, will continue its mission up towards MEO orbit, where we will be collecting data for six hours. But let's continue to watch here as the two vehicles continue on their way. Good, both be three use. Confirm GS1 engine chill active. Less than one minute now remaining to exo atmospheric engine ignition. Six minutes, 30 seconds into flight. So coming up here, we're going to see the middle of the three 7BE4 engines on, on the booster light up. Good. Chamber pressures on both BE3Us. This is going Continue to slow the vehicle burn. down, and then as the vehicle gets closer to the landing ship, the Jacqueline, the two outer of the three middle engines will shut off, and just one in the center will remain to help slow as well as guide the vehicle GS4. back to the landing ship. As you've also seen on, on the booster vehicle, we have the steering fins at the top of the booster, as well as the strakes, which act essentially as wings. This vehicle is flying back to the Jacqueline, providing lift to come in for a nice, soft, and vertical landing onto the landing ship, the Jacqueline. Good chamber pressures on both the E3Us. All three engines relight confirmed. Body rates look good on GS2. Continuing through its planned burn. Now seven minutes, 45 seconds in. Seeing good MR response on the B3U engines, seeing good throttle profile. Chamber pressures continue to look good throughout the burn. Eight minutes, 20 seconds into flight. GS2 tank pressures staying within their acceptable limits. Body rate responses look good. Chamber pressures look good throughout the burn. Eight minutes, 40 seconds in. Now passing nine minutes into flight. Continue to see data from both stages.
GS2 data quality continues to look good throughout the burn cha chamber pressures, both engines staying very close to each other. GS2 trajectory is nominal. Less than three minutes now remaining in the GS2 burn. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us. Wow, what a moment so far. We obviously have some uh, frozen data here on our stage one, on our booster. We're still waiting to understand uh, what the situation is with the booster. Meanwhile, our second stage, GS2, continues 10 minutes, 20 seconds in its the flight. ascent as well as, as its climb towards uh, Mio, which is where it is headed this evening. We are still waiting. You see good throttle response Again, on both our first prime, our primary objective, Fire getting reach, to orbit uh, safely. To Let's stand by here. Tank pressure is staying within acceptable limits. Bottle pressures look good. Data quality continues to look good throughout the GS2 burn. Eleven minutes, ten seconds into flight. GS2 is now one thousand seven hundred kilometers downrange, traveling at six point seven kilometers per second. Data looks good, coming down from Tindris. Both BE3Us continue to look good, tracking nicely in chamber pressure. Body rate responses are stable. 12 minutes, 10 seconds into flight. We have IAP vanish. GS2 is now orbital. And we have engine cut off. Body rates look good following engine cut off. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us. Seco, first go we coast shut coast off the, we cut off the engines on the second stage. What does that mean? That mean that we hit our key, critical, number one objective. We got to orbit safely. Congratulations, Blue Origin. <laughs> Y'all have gone orbital. What a day. We see our team down in Huntsville, our teams in Kent. I know the team out at Cart Park down here in Ford, they are all losing their minds. Congratulations, everybody. What a day. We are in space. We've got our blue ring pathfinder ready to warm up, ready to start drawing in all of that great information. What a day. We're going to go to Cars Park here. We have Eddie Seifert. Hey, uh, Ariane, we are so happy to be here at Rocket Park, our orbital launch site. This team is so proud that we got to orbit um, what an incredible rumble from the B4 engines. This was such an experience to live together. 
to be a part of this community. Amazing. You can feel the energy. What a fantastic day. Thank you, Eddie, to the whole team. Again, congratulations on getting to orbit. Now, I know all of you are tuning in. We're still trying to, we're trying to get all of the data here. We seem to have lost telemetry on the first stage, on the booster. We very well may have lost the booster. We are still coming in with all of the information. I want to make sure that we get you the right information. But nonetheless, the main objective that we were going for this evening is that we hit orbit. And now I actually, I do have confirmation that we did in fact lose the booster. You can see from the, uh, from the map there how close physically the booster got to making its landing. Of course, we'll have all of the information on what exactly uh, happened with the booster in the last moments. As you did hear, we did have the booster relight, the three middle engines, which is what we were looking for. So things we know were good up until that point, uh, but we just need to go through the data. And of course, after the show on all of our social media channels, we are going to have more information on those details. But key, key here, we hit our main objective. We got to orbit.